Hi, this is Devin with Frankie. Welcome to our online tutorial series with Frankie. Sometimes an M3U list gets so big that it causes issues for convenient usage. Some devices can't even cope with very extensive lists and simply crash during the loading process. On the other hand, loading the complete extensive list requires longer loading times because of the size of the file which needs to be downloaded every time. With a smaller, customized list, this problem lies in the past. Finally, a very big list gives you many groups, which results in a lot of scrolling while trying to find the stream you look for. With the editor, you only see the groups you want in the order you prefer. With Cloud TV Editor, you can choose the groups you are interested in in the order you want them to be presented. Groups you are not interested in will be disabled, but can be enabled afterwards anytime. Loading time decreases and devices will have no issues to load your smaller list. But how exactly do you do that? Go to the editor. To get there, use the editor link as provided. Select Channels. You should see all the groups which are available. In this example, we have loaded a list with 1,025 groups. On top of the groups list, you see the page navigation, each page consisting of 100 groups. Enabling and disabling the group is very simple. Just click on the icon on the right side of the group. It'll show if this particular group is enabled or disabled. Remember to check all pages and turn off the things you are not interested in. When you are done with selecting and deselecting groups, you can change their order of appearance. Here's how. Just drag and drop the left side of the group name. If you want to select all groups which are shown on the page, you can do that by clicking these buttons. After selecting, you can use these buttons to activate or deactivate the selected groups. If you don't want to select everything on the page, but still want to select multiple groups to edit at once, you can select these by holding the Shift or Control button and enabling or disabling the selected groups with a single click. The changes are automatically saved, so when you're done, you just need to get the M3U, which consists of your edited list or other links you may need. To do that, go to Info. This page can also be reached through the main menu screen. Here, you see the complete list of links which are applicable for the customized list. You see the M3U Perfect Player download link? This is typically the most common one. For example, in smart IPTV, VLC, and other devices and apps. But also ones worth noting include M3U Perfect Player download link only live, which would load only the live channels, or M3U Perfect Player download link only VOD, which would load only the VOD section of the list, but also link to the EPG file for your list. Choose the link you need and use it to configure your device, and there you go. Enjoy the service, Frankie. Thank you for sticking around till the end of this tutorial. Why not watch another video?